Load Pro Voltmeter Leads. Load Pro Leads are an ESI exclusive product, patented by a mechanic and used in place of regular meter leads. The Load Pro is a diagnostic tool that allows you to immediately load a circuit to determine if the circuit can carry a load. These leads should be installed in your TMX meter and not removed unless you need to for some special reason. Depressing the Load Pro button makes the leads a substitute load using the vehicle's normal system voltage. This way you can use them for every voltage reading you make without having to think about it. The leads have steady pin tips that fit both round and square pins for a more secure connection. There are only three faults that can occur in a wire. Open, short to ground, and high resistance, and that's it. Open, broken wire, short to ground, copper touching steel, fuse probably blows. High resistance or corrosion is the one that you haven't been able to see until now and that's what the load pro leads do okay these leads are a load tester for wires so what you're able to do is read voltage and then instantaneously load the circuit and knowing whether or not the circuit can actually carry current voltage and the manual is going to say do you read voltage and what i'm telling you to do differently is to ask the question do you see loaded voltage that loading by pushing this button is the final piece of the puzzle because here's how this works if you see voltage if you see your 12 volts or if you see your 24 volts you can't have an open because if the wire was broken you wouldn't be seeing voltage you can't have a short to ground because if you had a short to ground there's a pretty good chance that the fuse would blow so if you see voltage you can't have an open or short so what does that mean well that means you've just ruled out two of three possible faults because there's only three. The third one is high resistance or corrosion. And when you push this button, you're loading the circuit. And when you load the circuit, you're checking for that high resistance fault. And that's the last one in the list. If the voltage doesn't change, then there's no fault in the circuit. If the voltage does change, then you have a corroded fault or high resistance fault. That's how easy this is. And when you learn the other readings, ghost and zero voltage, then suddenly the voltmeter is going to be a lot more powerful because it's going to allow you to uh, check for continuity at the same time that you're checking for voltage. Really all I'm doing is teaching you how to read the meter better. These leads add a step, but the rest is just understanding how this meter works.